This is Julie who says Hebrews 5, 9 says, and having been made perfect, he became to all those who obey him the source of eternal salvation. And Matthew 6, 15 says, but if you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive your transgressions. Our obedience and a willingness to forgive others requirements to go to heaven. Oh, uh, look, in order to be born again, uh, you have to be in a condition where you're willing to forgive. And in order to be born again, you have to be, you know, uh, like the Lord. And so if you won't forgive others, you know, for, I, you know that's the Lord's prayer. Uh, you know, I, I forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Um, I, I believe it's, it's, it's integral to being born again is to have a forgiving spirit. And if you hold grudges in your heart, it's going to be very hard for you to be in a condition of being born again because, you know, you have to forgive. So if you're asking me, I, I think whatever you're doing, if you're holding a grudge against somebody, you know, I, I'm in a position right now, I can't hold a grudge against somebody to save myself. I really can't do it. I'd, I'd like to sometimes, but I can't. I, I just can't do it. And I, I think in relation to you, uh, the same thing is true. The Lord makes it very clear. So if you're harboring resentment in your heart towards somebody and you refuse to forgive, you're on dangerous territory. So you ask me about going to heaven and so forth. That's in God's hands. But I, I'll say, if I were you, whatever it is, I mean, whoever hurts you, your father hurts you, your mother hurts you, your professor hurts you, your employer hurts you, whoever it is, forgive that your heavenly Father might forgive you, all right? Thank you for watching The 700 Club on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. To watch more great videos, check out the link in the description box below to download our CBN app.